types of gamers. Now there's so many different types of people on the video game that you can encounter in your lifetime. And throughout my many years of Xbox Live and being raged at and Xbox game chat, I've seen it all. I've seen so many types. So we'll start off with the rager. Why not start here? We all know one friend that just gets so mad at the game. This kid is usually competitive as f and if you ever play with this kid, make sure to lower your headset volume because you're about to be eaten by fuck decibels. Now, I used to be the rager. Bad. Like, it got so bad to where my friends would call me Duck the Rager Duckalo. And it got so bad to the point where they put the rager in between my fucking name. This one's pretty self-explanatory. You just get mad at the game a lot. And you may start to throw and break things. And when I was in my prime Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege days, I had to buy like five different headsets. Like, it, it was seriously bad. Next, we got the kid with the shitty mic. This kid is either on his Xbox Connect or he just sounds like he's in the fucking trenches of World War II when he's speaking. Like, it, that shit will sound like... <laughs> I apologize in advance for any ear damage, but that's literally how it sounds like they'll literally put their f lips in front of the mic like they're sucking it off or something. Then some kids will literally eat their fucking mic and then there'll be the whole ass windstorm coming in via their voice. <laughs> And then you could just hear them breathing down the mic like, holy shit, it was so hard to concentrate with this kid in the party. Or he has an insanely bad, bad echo. Next, we got to talk about the kid with the bad aim or the potato aim. I don't know what y'all call it, but it was me in specific when I hopped on the game. I would always have horrible aim. Like, I would always shoot at f Johnson level. Like, it would never be, like, around the head area. I wouldn't really get much headshots. And no matter what game it was, like, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Roblox, Minecraft, no matter what I tried, I just had potato aim. Next up, we got the Gamer Girl slash E-Girl. Now, if you fall under this type and you join the party and it's full of guys, they're gonna be yo, freaking yo. out that you're a Gamer Girl, bro. I, I, I'm telling you. Yo, we got a Gamer Girl, bro. Oh my goodness. How are you doing on this evening? Oh, good heavens, it's a game of girl. You may get that reaction if you hop in game chat or join a party or something like that. It's gotta happen at least most of the time. There's no way. Next up, we got the toxic kid. This kid will talk so much shit, even though he's ass at the game. He just does it to play mind games which you try and get in your head. Or if you're on the same team as the toxic kid, he'll get really mad at you for no reason. He'll just pin the blame on you for the loss. And sometimes it just goes past rah-rah shit talk with this kid. He gets hella personal sometimes. And this dude is like, like, never optimistic never whatsoever. He's just another one that gets really mad. Next, we gotta talk about the backseat gamer. F you. Genuinely f you. I'm trying to clutch up here. I don't need you in my ear. Okay, actually, go left, go left, go right. Like, this dude will constantly just direct you, acting like he's the one playing. Like, bro, you are not the one playing. Let me cook. Like, it's different if he's, like, coaching you or if he's coaching you. But this kid is just, usually just tells you what to do. And he's, like, annoying as f about it like this kid thinks he's the best at the game even though damn well we all know he's not if he's dead and you're still alive then we got the kid with the bad wi-fi or the lag you would think this kid's posted up playing at a mcdonald's all right and he's connected to their free wi-fi the way his wi-fi is always lagging or he can never connect to the game or you always see him like stuttering in the lobby his mic goes like uh It'll just cut out and then speed the f up. Or you'll just straight up crash off the game, bro. The dog will just leave. Wait, what happened to John? That's right. He, he His Wi-Fi's f ass. We didn't have to say anything. We all collectively knew as a group why John left the party. And then John would just rejoin like... Happened again. Yep, yep, we know. And we'd all tell John to invest in a new Wi-Fi router. Next up, we got the Revive Me Kid. Bro, no one is reviving you. How many hey, times you say it on the f***ing mic? We will revive you once the opposition that I'm clearly fighting right in front of your face has been defeated. Like, it's never that serious. It's just a f game. Wait, can you wait like two seconds? And then him constantly saying it into the mic will obviously f*** up your game too so you also got a lower chance of winning that gunfight too next we got the competitive pro slash streamer this is literally your job if you fall into this category so you better at least be decent at the game or else nobody's gonna watch you unless they just love seeing you fail there are so many people in their chats just trolling them and stream sniping them literally wherever they go in the game the chat knows or whoever's playing against them knows because half of them are 
stream snipers. That's kind of the downside when you stream while you play is people just be overly toxic to you for no reason. Or they could just straight up see where you're at, what you're doing in the game. But hey, the streaming bans are crazy though. I'm not gonna hold you. I would sacrifice getting stream snipe for the bans though. That's all I'm gonna say. Speaking of stream sniping, we gotta talk about the cheater. Why is this dude even exist, bro? Like this dude needs to be sent to the gulag. Like banish this muff please. Like every time I hopped on Rainbow Six Siege, there was always this one kid with mouse and keyboard on, even though we were all on console. And we would run into these Zim adapter kids everywhere. Fortnite, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege. It's just everywhere. And the cheaters just make the game frustrating for others. So I don't know what the they're doing but if you're actually on pc it's even worse i'm sure you, there's like mods so you can see where players are at and stuff like that i don't know it's it's really bad well actually guys let me uh let me plug in my mouse and keyboard adapter real quick uh like there are zero hoes in your facility buddy zero bitches none so destroy your zim or whatever the hell it's called if you do this on console i promise you there will be zero girls in your household and speaking of girl repellent we got the no life this dude's on the game like 20 hours a day dude like this kid does not save any room for self-care or any other activities the game is consuming him and so most of the time these kids are kind of mid for all the hours they're putting in because obviously their brain is probably looks green and fried at this point because of how much screen time they're putting in like their brain is definitely 100 percent rotted they don't even know what self-care is they haven't hopped in a goddamn shower in weeks they probably shower once a week or some shit this game is their life all right whatever game it is that they know life one example is that one guy from south park in that one episode where all the south park boys are nerdy gamers and they were trying to defeat that one guy that was the no life and he would just destroy them all just because he was such a high level at the game next we got to talk about the squeaker anytime they hop into a toxic call of duty lobby they're getting flamed now i've only been into game chat one time when i was a squeaker and this was the funniest shit ever i accidentally had my mic on and i was raging it was so funny and it, you could just hear me like Whoa! God damn it. You could see Duck Duckalo at the top just speaking the whole time. I'm probably out there on YouTube somewhere, squeaker raging at Call of Duty or whatever. And that was the last time I entered game chat as a squeaker. And after that, I was done. The only time I really communicated with my teammates was on Rainbow Six Siege, and that was really it. And sometimes that, that was a f***ing headache in itself. So if you're the squeaker, prepare to be violated. Now we gotta talk about the one more game, kid. Bro, bro, come on, just one more game. One more. Please, dude, please. Come on, stay with one more. Fine, I'll play one more game. Then I'm going to bed. And then you stay the f*** up until 4 a.m. Thanks to the one more game, kid. Like, that's usually how I would stay up late playing video games. If someone says, please, one more game, and we're, we're just keep doing good, we keep cooking, then I would stay up late as f***. Like, it would be till, like, 4 a.m. I don't even know how I would be able to cook at that time, but whatever. It worked somehow. The Clueless Kid. Now, this one has got to be all of us at some point on every game that we were new to. We had no f clue what we were doing. Being clueless in a video game is its just a weird experience, especially if there's, like, a high-ass skill gap, and you just get nuked as soon as you enter the building, and you can't even process what the hell happened. The game is such a huge learning curve. You play so passive or dumb. You just look back and just think, wow, I was a f dumbass the kid that's just trash no matter how many times you play or how much time you spend on the game you just suck like i don't know man i don't know what else to say for this one no matter how many hours they put into the game they still suck the nerd neck bro's got that forward neck ass posture and he's always somehow killing you in the game dog will always one up you no matter what because he's just nerdy as at the game you know if he's on your team then you know it let, let him carry you but if he's your opponent then there's gonna be smoke sometimes you can tell by their voice how much hours they have in this game they bro could literally sound like the nerd emoji saying some like crazy ass lingo that you don't even know what they're on about they will just use the most jargon ass language ever yeah if you're not really the gamer type you might not even know what the that all meant but you could tell just by their language they got hella hours in the game and by their voice sometimes too next we gotta talk about the smurf now a lot of you probably don't even know what that means but it's basically someone makes a second account on xbox pc playstation whatever and based on their level it just shows that they're ass at the game but they really have a higher level account which is their main account now i used to be a smurf back in the day bro i told you i was a nerd at fucking rainbow six siege and this account that i made was mainly for rainbow six siege nothing else just so i could have a 
rank for two accounts in the season. Next, we got to talk about the AFK kid. This kid will be like, I'll be right back. And then it takes him like a century to get back. If you're in Fortnite, he'll be on like the other side of the map or some shit. Or you'll get kicked for inactivity. Like sometimes I don't even know what the AFK kid is up to. Like usually he just goes to grab a snack and then just doesn't come back ever. Even though he knows he's being queued into a game. Or sometimes he'll just go silent without saying anything. And he'll just dip. Next, we got the call out kid. This kid always knows what to call out. This kid always knows where the ops are at, no matter what. Like, he'll give you the specific coordinates and location, and they're always there every time, bro. Like, this kid is insane at callout. He is, like, the glue to the f***ing team at this point. He's the reason why the team is taking Ws. And then this isn't the kid that's like, Oh, uh, he's behind you. No, like, he will give you a detailed-ass callout. Then there's always that one kid that's the complete opposite of the callout kid, and they'll be like, He's right there. Where? There, right there. Bro, where? Like, dog, be specific. Where the f*** is right there? Then we got the kid that's always watching TikToks or munching on the mic, bro. It's either one. He's just waiting for the game to start. You'll just hear renegade, renegade through the f***ing mic in the shittiest quality ever. Or it could be mid-game. He could just be scrolling through TikTok as he's playing the game. Sometimes. If you watch TikToks while you play the game, just f mute your mic, bro. Don't be that one guy that just has the mic on and just is, is just scrolling through TikTok. Or if you're gonna be eating a whole ass buffet, mute the mic too. Or mute, just move the speaker up so no one can hear the f crunch. Then we got the casual guy. He just usually, he's your average Joe on the game, spends like a few hours a day, doesn't really take it too serious, you know, he's just your chill gamer. I'm sure a majority of us just fall into this category, like there's no way you don't. Then we got pay to win. This dude is always paying for the cosmetics. No matter how shit they are, bro will always be paying for the cosmetics. And sometimes it could get so bad where this kid is literally investing their life savings into the game. And leave a comment down below if you want to see a part two. Watch that entire playlist if you're bored. Go. Go watch it.